All right, so obviously, I'm gonna ask you the same question as I asked everybody else. When you get started in your game, what do you usually think about before you start like picking where you want to path and what you want to do? Okay, first I think of who's my enemy jungler. They're usually gonna start bottom, so I'm like, whatever. I, I make special exceptions for like Malachi or something. Uh, I look at which laner is least to grief me. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, the Samira start out with saying, "Hey, I'm I told them don't play Samira. It's not going to work. Something like that, but a lot nicer." Well, I mean, that doesn't really matter. You're stuck with it once you get in the game, so you're gonna have to just like deal with it. Like, you know, I hate it too. Like, I have, I had an Ash top one game, and I was like, "Bro, I wanted to complain, but I was like, I mean, to be real, you already picked it. We're already in. Not really much to." Yeah. I just, think about no, I said, like, I just gave a suggestion that champ select and like and say I want to play some around. Like, okay. This is a hard game for her. I'm not gonna lie. It is. You're not wrong because there's a exactly. lot of close range like champs that can stop her or can one shot her. So you are right. This is a very hard game for Samira. But what were you thinking? Where were you pathing this game? Like, what were, what were you thinking? Okay, I think I was like, I was making a, a coin flip decision. I guess I was like, I could really go help Samira, but I'll probably help GP instead. I don't even remember what I did. Well, what do you know about these matchups? When we see GP, what type of champ is Gangplank? Uh, he's poke champ. Well, think about like when he's strong. When is he usually oh. strong? Throughout the whole game. Not necessarily. Not really. Uh. Well, if, 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 if he's if he's good, if he's if he's really good, then you know he he could pop off. But you got to realize yeah. like that's very rare. Most Gangplanks aren't that great. I mean, yeah, I was thinking of like who would do best if I had more eggs in which basket. Well, the thing about Gigplank is he 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 does scale. You are right. He does he does scale, but he's not going to be that strong early. Your champ is a very early game champion, so you have to try to play with something that's a little bit better. He doesn't have much setup for you, although Ergot will be overextended, so it should be pretty yeah. free whenever he does that. But you're going to have more play through bot lane because Samir is an early game champion. But also look at their look at their um their bot lane, right? It's Pike and Tristana. Those are champs that have to go in. So if you're always there to just do something every single time they jump in and they have to there's no way they can win this lane without actually going in every single time so when you're there every single time that they go in you pop out free kill over and over and over gangplank doesn't really need you because you just told me right you're like well he scouts so why he doesn't really need you he'll just get there by himself Mazahar is kind of the same way that champ doesn't really do anything he's just a R button so really your only win condition is your bot lane uh looks like you did that though you started top or are you just going no you started top yeah, I think I started top. Oh, you recalled? Oh, no, you went bottom. You put a ward down. Okay, that's a rough. So you can still path up top, but you're going to have to reverse your clear so you can play with your bot lane. Because yeah, they're going to get the they're gonna get. I don't remember what I did, because this was actually wild. Either right. I did a quadrant, or whatever it's called, and then I went towards bottom, or I just went. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, I just, like, deleted this game from my head, because I don't want to remember it. Okay. Oh, so you did go down and bot. Yeah, this okay. is huge. Like, actually huge. Oh, see, I knew I was a genius. <laughs> okay, calm down. But this is exactly okay. why I wanted you to path bottom. Because this is free. They have to over... What is she doing? Oh, yeah. No way she okay, lives. She lives, she lives, she lives. Like... That's it. So now just leave the lane. Don't push it because she's already screwed. And she's on her way back. So you should just leave. Don't oh, yeah, see, I was saying, like, forget this ADC. No, no, no. You can never do that because you're going to take L's. I mean, I sometimes don't do it, but I don't like it. Yeah, because also you want to keep up your tempo. The longer you're in this lane, the, the less time you're spent, like, recalling or going across the map and stuff like that. But that was a good game. That's what you want to do. So what we want to do now is we want to get this crap like you're doing, and then we'll just instantly recall and start pathing bottom. Let's see if that's what you do. Wait, start pathing bottom? Yeah, because you want to be down there, because they're just going to continue to fight. Like, that lane has to fight. Both, like, all those champs have to fight, but Soraka. So if we recall real quick, go ahead and start pathing down after you do three camps, or you could just take your red and jet down here. I would personally do my three camps. I don't trust, I wouldn't trust this elo that much to just skip camps to go help them. But to keep yourself relevant, just in case that they, like, they end up dying before you get there. It's not like, oh, I got my red. Okay, I'm here, and I didn't clear any camps, because you're all dead. It's like, okay, I cleared my three. Even if you guys die, I still have income. Yeah, I no think I more, usually so. go with the more safe choice. Let's see what happens. I usually always go with the not always, but okay. Like this kind of game. Oh yeah, something happened here. But... This is fine. 
Good counter gank. He should flash. There's no way he dies. Okay, I was... Yeah, I was gonna say that guy. What? He died. Oh okay. yeah. He... Now you can help shove this out. This is good. Reason we help shove this out, this guy's out of mana. Right? Oh yeah, we shoved it out. I got a tower plate, and then I went back flying. Let's see. Okay, we, we got to recall. The reason we got to recall is because we got to be as strong as possible. Us as junglers don't recall as much as laners because we're always doing something. But yeah, cause I went, I saw bomb and I was like, okay, they're pushed up more than I can recall. Right. And like, what, what else do we notice about this? Like, this is a really good spot to gank. Don't get me wrong, but why shouldn't we go for a gank here? Because a strong wave. Boom. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. So recall. There's no reason to hover. There's no reason to start walking. Just recall. There's nothing they can do. They don't have any setup for you. So we can't do anything. Okay. I'm glad you pinged it back. But just recall now. Because you're on the map for too long. Elise is one of those junglers that you're like they, they have a lot of damage. So the more you recall, the better. So I'm just going to go ahead and write this here. It's just after every play you, you make, try to recall. Once you get better at it, you can then start recalling off items. So recall based off items when... Okay, actually, I do need to practice in life. So. It's it's hard. It's hard. I, I It's hard. It's really hard. I struggled with that for a long time. Because you don't really think about it. Because it's like, it, like, junglers get to this rhythm where it's like, okay, I got to go for this gank. Okay, I'm going to go farm. Oh, something else happened. Okay, I got to go there. Okay, but I got to go back to farm. Okay, something else happened. And we were just on the map forever. Yeah, I do do that. So, and it's because your teammates need you. But you do have to just be like, look, I could be way stronger if I just go back real quick and then come back on the map. So you have to do that so you're not in that loop. Also, you're forcing yourself the path upwards. This would have been a really good play, what you did, because you did your, your grop, and then you went to Wolves, and then you went to the gate. Bot, huge. Then you went mid, huge. Recall, come down, and you can continue your path downwards instead of forcing yourself to continuously go up. But... I'm not going to focus on what you didn't do because the game is already in motion. So we'll just see if we do. Oh, what? The you did it anyway. You're doing the right thing. It's just I wish you recalled it and did red and then did that. But because you're only farming one, like one part of the jungle. There's four parts. But well, let's see what you do. Wait for them to go in before you fly out. We know that's how Pike and Tristana work. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Textbook, textbook, but recall. You gotta get out of here. Beautiful, easy. I would like you wait a little bit longer because you probably could have got a double kill, but I mean, that's just me being really, really nitpicky. I like to try to get two, but I think it was fine. You you went and came back. All yeah, right. What, get um, a tower dive offer? I'm not a tower dive, but I just think Tristana would have probably hopped in if you waited just a little bit longer, and then she was just screwed after that. Oh, no. Basically kind of baiting your team. Rare. <laughs> this is good doing our camps we don't want to go here what do we notice the wave is shoved up he's getting ready to continue to push also the top laner is not there you could say well i want to counter gank but we need her fed not gangplank he'll get there but on his own so we want to just go ahead and make our way by the reason why we do this is because we want to do something called 80 20. have you ever heard of that have you heard of me say that in my videos or something 80 percent of the time you're on this side Yep, exactly. So you want 80% of our time this way. If you're going to play towards top like you said, like, well, like you did, I don't know if you actually thought about that and before this game, but like you did, you were playing top, then your time should have been spent here, not down bot. So then we would play like this. That means the 20%, all it is, is I'm clearing this camp, I'm clearing this camp, I'm clearing this camp, I'm gone. Period. So let's just say, just always think of it like a train. So I'm doing my thing, doing my thing. Um, because you're at least, you can kind of skip camp. So if you like really want to get down bot, just take that red and go. But I would just get into the motion of doing it properly first. Okay, I'm coming out. I'm grabbing this top. Do you need me? Do you need me to rotate? You're about to get dove. No. Okay, I'm not. I'm not coming. All right, top. One more time, dude. Do you need me? Are you about to get dove? Nope. I'm all right. Once you're here, top's a no go. Then you could just make your way because this allows you to make it play this way. Allows you to make it play this way. Allows you to make it play this way. It makes you allows you to make it play this way and so on. And that 80% of your time is gonna be spent doing things that you wanna do, like, okay, I'm ganking. Okay, I'm invading. Okay, I'm doing dragon. Whatever. Like, that's where your 80% of your time will be spent. It's not just about ganking top. 
or a Genki bottom. It's about whatever you wanna do. Dude, I'm gonna invade you. It's better that we invade on bottom because you have a Samira. This game is really hard to invade, don't get me wrong, but I'm just saying the fact that your bot lane is strong. You have a strong ADC. So you could uh, definitely go ahead and do that. But like I said, we didn't, we, didn't, we didn't do that this time. So we're playing towards top. So we'll see, we'll see what we do. I don't really care where you play at this point. I just want you to play the 80-20 because it's very, very important. You can't you can't help everybody. That's one of the things that you're going to have to learn as a jungler, no matter if you're a challenger. And people in challenger still get really upset about that because it feels like their jungler is not helping. But you just can't be in all three lanes at once. You can only be in two. So you're just going to have to accept. Your laners are going to be mad. Mute those pings. Mute that chat. Whoever you're ignoring, if you're going to ignore a gangplank, bro, all your stuff's muted. If you're going to ignore your bot lane, bro, all your stuff's muted because they're just going to whine. And that's just how it is as a jungler. Okay, I think I went talk. I want to get the grab. That's fine. Yeah, I like that. Okay, we know Malphite has no mana. He's dead. Can we get Malphite too? Oh, no, the fear. You got it. Aw, oh, that sucks. That's fine. Help shove. Perfect. I would go Rift Herald if you... Rift Herald's better than Dragon as an early game champ because you can break down towers. So I would go Rift Herald if I had an option. Oh, let's see what yeah. you do. Wait. Oh, my gosh. Let's see what you do. So you go back. All right, I don't really like that, but I do like it at the same time. So after you do something like that, after you get a kill, whatever, after you kill the enemy, do something with the dead. All the only thing that we did was get plates, but we could have punished this game so much harder because yeah. we could have got the rift, we could have got yeah. the dragon. Maybe that'd be a little bit harder, but it's you like know. I have pre like you know the Sims where they have a um, like you tag and do something already. Yeah, I, I tagged myself to like get my minions already after I, you know, like failed or cleared. But either if even if I was success or failure, I was going to do my camps. I wasn't thinking about, oh, let me go get the herald or dragon. Like, right, right, oh, and shoot. you're you're not wrong. You're not wrong. The thing is though, you're doing it textbook wise. You're you're doing it to a T where it's like it's supposed to be done this way but you just created an opportunity that changed the way the game plays this is how we this is just when we toss the textbook out the window because it's like all right we have to do it properly whenever you learn anything usually they're like okay this is the proper way to do it but when situations happen you kind of have to skew and you know break the rules a little bit it's the same thing here yes you're right we clear the wave you know after we got for that after we went for that gang beautiful but also this dude's dead and we've seen Warwick come from this way for the gank, I believe. So that means his top side should be up. So you could take his camps. We know that he's dead. He's not going to stop you. You could take Rift. We know it's fun. Dragon might be a little sketch because their laners are all shoved up. So, you know, that's a little rough. Ooh. But because of what you just did, you can change how the game is played. That's why junglers are so strong. Because we can, we can break some rules. So that's how you want to okay. think about it. That makes a lot more sense. So just kind of... You should just kind of think of it, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But the thing is, these videos don't really teach players the what the situations. They just teach players the one way to do it, and sometimes that's not how it works, especially in ranks that are this low that don't actually follow the rules anyway. So what you want to do is, after every single kill, try to do something with it. It doesn't mean you can. Just try to do something with it. So let's just say I killed Malphite. Oh, that's good. Let's get Rift Herald. And then Warbrook shows up. But your bot laner, but your mid laner is backing, and your top laner is like low or backing, or he just doesn't care. Well, we we can't get Rift because Warwick is there and we can't fight Warwick. It's just, just a scenario, but you see what I mean? It's like, okay, that's the right thing to do, but my teammates are not putting me in the position to get it. Therefore, I can't get it, but at least we got the kill. That's good enough, I guess. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right, cool, cool, cool. You're going to have that a lot. You're going to have players just not listen a lot, unfortunately. This isn't bad. You did something with the death. I'm just saying we could have snowballed the hell out of this game. Yeah, that was is... very... It's a... It's a drop ball that definitely could strongly hope. Okay, you see something happening bottom. I like this. Ooh, okay. You're waiting. You're doing good. Just sit and chill. Mm hmm See what happens. Okay, you can go. Yep. Don't need to stay here anymore. They're not even going to be aggressive. They're just chilling. You can go maybe farm a little bit and keep watching bottom. Perfect. I mean, nothing's wrong with that. Okay, they're going back in, so now we gotta leave. All we're doing is buying time. Boom, we're back. Boom, boom. Ooh, good flash. Nice, drag, right now. Ping, 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 ping. Good dragon. 
Okay, maybe we're gonna push one more wave. And then ping, 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 get dragon. Okay. Good. All right, pull it out, perfect. Easy. All right, we need to recall. <laughs> if you don't recall, I'm gonna be really okay, upset. Dude, I gotta say. Oh no. <laughs> You Time literally I just did it. That I always notice. <laughs> I am not a recaller. I will carry 3.8k gold like nothing happened. You literally just did everything per. This is like the perfect scenario of a juggler. I'm waiting for my ball lane. They're not doing anything. Let me go get a camp. Okay, I'm doing camp. Let me get the double kill. Boom, double kill. Let me go drag. Boom, drag. Recall now. Spin the gold. You're not going to be stronger because you didn't spend anything. Even if you got 4k, it doesn't matter. That jungle could yeah. be stronger than you could. I am, spin. what's that thing called on Progress? I am like probably the top goblin server. I, I, I had that when I played a lot of Udir too. Oh, now it looks like, you know, you're trying to say, well, maybe I gotta go help. Just just back, just recall. If they die, they die. It's not your fault. You did what you could do. It is what it is. Now what you can do now is you can run straight down bottom. The reason why we're doing this is because we see a play that's getting ready to happen. They're about to get dove. So you don't say, okay, well, let me go ahead and path. Oh, nah, you I said, go ahead and pass. No, no, you go straight to the play. So on your recalls, this is something to do as like an early game champion. When you're playing something like Kane, it's a little bit, a little bit hit or miss based on what you want to do. But when you're playing something that doesn't really scale that well, then you're gonna have to do this. So whenever you back, take a look and see if there is a play to be made. Or I wouldn't even say to be made. I just say if there is a play. Uh, in progress if there's a play in progress um try to run to it if so try to go to it so this is going to be your 80 percent of your time remember 20 percent of your time is just farming top and maybe i'll help you if you need it but i'm not really tripping because i don't like you anyway most of your time is down here so if you skip three camps to help them do you think that's still good mm. Yeah, it's not like a real loss. Right, because you're playing to this side. You need them ahead. Why would you not want to sacrifice three camps to make sure that they're okay? This can lead to a triple kill. This could lead to a triple kill under your belt, maybe under Samira's belt. Who knows? This can lead to some great stuff, but you got to go because this is the side you're playing to. Now, if this is Gangplank that's getting in the situation. Well, then, buddy, I'm sorry. I'm going to go. <laughs> Good luck. No, you already be up here, so you're, you might be able to help. But I'm just, I would leave him if I was like on Raptors because it's like... I'm gonna go ahead and go to bottom. Oh, wait, you did. You noticed it and you were getting ready to go bottom, but you were like, yeah. well, you're dead. I would probably still go just because I feel like Sarah is gonna get dove, but. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't know. Yeah, but you... yeah, she's probably gonna get dove. Wait, they didn't even try? I would have oh, told yeah. her to bait that so you can get a double. I like that though. You did start to go. So you noticed it. You noticed it and you just said, okay, well, she's dead too late. This is you trying to force. Remember, we don't really do this unless they need us. Not gonna say it won't work, but you just have to think about that because you do want to get back to bot lane as soon as possible. This guy just griefed, should be a free kill. Boom, easy, leave, leave. I know you want plates, but we gotta get back down to that bottom because they're gonna die, they're gonna die, they're gonna die, they're gonna die. Whenever you pick the play 80% on one side, you gotta get back down there because this opens up an opportunity for the enemy jungler to do something. So yes, plates are nice, don't get me wrong, but we gotta really make our way. So if you're gonna get plates, I would like that you would skip your camps to go right back down bottom if you're gonna get plates Ooh. because you're I basically just you spent your farm time ganking which is fine but you gotta dip out so you can help farm time I like that yeah you don't really have much like you, you you only as a jungler we play off of time we, we only have like 15 minutes to play the game players don't realize that and they think jungle's super super easy it's like no bro we don't have that long to, to be useful um <laughs> okay Okay, I think I saw that. I was like, oh, let me get this tower. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. You're making your way. You're walking through the jungle. You're taking his camps, or you're looking for his camp, so that's fine. Before you do this, take a look. Do they need you? Mm -hmm. do they, does that look... What? Okay. Yeah, I think I... What the heck? Okay, I didn't see that. Yeah, I don't know what that is, but do you think they need you right now? Mm, at this point, not really. Yeah, so you're perfectly fine. I, I just be cautious. I did this big crux that I was looking upwards like... Okay, never mind. Then. This is good. I would go for the Tristana. That guy is harder to catch than the Tristana, but let's see what you do. I think something weird happened here and I died. Oh, you didn't ping him. Oh, you did. I see you pinging now. 
Remember, wait for them to go in. That's that's one big mistake right now. Before you gank players, you gotta make, let the enemy commit. Unless it's something that's very, very easy to catch. Let's just say this is Soraka and that's Jinx. Well, you can lead it, because like, what are they gonna do to you? But these two can one bang you. Like, he'll just stun you and you'll die. So you have to be careful. And they're really hard to catch. Yeah, pretty much like that. I don't think you die though. But that gank went to crap because they don't have anything to set you up. That's the problem. It's not like they don't. It's not like they suck. They, 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 their champs don't do anything. And so, yeah. as a jungler, you have to recognize that. Okay, you have. They have to go first. So a lot of the times, I, I try to let my laners kind of die first before I go. But if you have no setup, you're gonna have to let the enemy engage. So if you have no setup, uh, make sure the enemy laner starts engaging on your laner. This mid, top, eight, bottom, whatever, it's the same concept. Gangplank has nothing for you, so what do you have to do? You have to let Ergot fly at him first. Once he does that, pop out. Every single time when your laner has nothing, mouth fights the same way, it's literally the same. You have to let him fly into the Malzahar real quick, and then once he does that, you pop out. That's how you play these lanes, because your laners have no setup for you. Again, it's not like they suck. If you're playing Soraka and I was your jungler, you would be like, bro, what? I can't do anything. Okay, let me slow them. <laughs> like, what is that to Tristana and Pike? Like, it's not enough. I mean, I was hoping, like, to do a flex play and, like, stun her out the air. I mean, I don't think it... I think... <laughs> okay, I don't know about that. That was... Maybe that's a little bit too much. <laughs> but yeah. I, th I, think the, I think the thought process, like, the actual play that you wanted to go for a gang, I think that was good. Like... That was fine. I just like, wish it, that it was hard. Like, if it failed, then it failed. I was like, I want to try it anyways. Yeah, I don't think it was necessary. I continue to keep an eye down bottom because you know they're shoved up. They're going to need you. You're not done here. Look to make I, a play. Yeah, I think they die here. I would just be waiting right here because I already know they're about to get gone on to. Th those champs love them being gone on to. I was but... thinking that they would probably... Nah, they don't think that. I think that they probably wouldn't go on them because I'm like just there nah okay wait you're doing it again stop doing okay i'm mad at you now because you literally are playing bot side but you keep pathing up stop doing that path down i'm sick of this you're not gonna lie i do, this. <laughs> you, I do that a lot you're like but okay let me go here. Too. and then you just come back down. stop if you're yeah, gonna... I literally notice every single time I do that, like, oh my god, I got something. Like, oh god, I got something. Like, oh <laughs> if, if you're gonna do that, do this. Okay, wolves, and then grump, and then blue, and then now I'm ready to go. Then when you're done recall, come back, and then skip your camps, go gank, come back, wolves, blue, grump, and then go back to gank again. That way you're always down. No matter what, yeah. you're always going down. It's like something I know. I literally watch other like junglers do that. It's like I just keep doing up. I mean, down to up, down to up. So right. Like, oh. But the thing is, you're playing the right, you're literally playing the right side. But you got to think how many seconds are you wasting going up to come back down, going up here to come back down. Like you're wasting so much time. We could have just went boom, boom, boom. I'm bot side for eighty percent of my time. Going back to my camps, I'm still bot side. Boom, I'm recall done with my you know. But like we're trying to play both sides, we're always pathing up, and that's seconds wasted. And those seconds could be like, oh, what if you know my bot lane's about to die, but I just got done with my wolves because I'm pathing up when I could be on Gromp, and when that play is happening, I'm closer to the play. So it's really just all about minimizing how much time you waste. And again, you're playing a champ that just does not have all game to play, so you really have to be mindful of it. Early game champions are the hardest champs to play, no matter what role you are, because you are taking time bomb before you're useless. So you have to be on point. Anybody who thinks otherwise is out of their mind, because a farming champion is always useful. Oh, you're zero and five? Doesn't matter, I'll scale. Oh, I'm, you know, zero, zero, zero? Doesn't matter, I'll wait until I'm later, then I'll kill everybody. But champs like Elise, Lee Sint, uh, Samira, like these are just champs that can't play later. So you have to try to roll them real quick. Mm, this is scary because you don't have your mid laner. He's there, but let's see how this works. This is super scary. You got it though. But yeah, that, that was scary. That was just, <clears throat> we, we weren't thinking about our mid laner. That's all that was. Yeah. Mid to late game, just have everybody there because we don't know where everybody's going to be. A good call again if this guy was here and he rotated, but your whole bot side is fed. 
you're fed, Miles is fed. I mean, she's not inting, she's kind of even, so she's not useless. So like everybody can go. And because he's fed and you're fed, these two champs do not matter. So if you guys are just there and we 4v4, it's technically a 4v2. Wait. Because there's they're behind. Go ahead. Can you go on go before he recall? Okay. Oh, let me just do it this way. Like, uh, like... Okay, he was shoveled up. Okay, he didn't have any mana. Yeah, he just didn't have any mana. So then it's just wait for him. He has TP, though, so I guess you could have just told him to TP by pinging it. No. It's not up yet. It's almost up. It's still not up yet. It's still not up yet. Okay, maybe he just didn't have it at that point in time. I mean, we don't have any wars, man. I guess that's true, but he could TP to your uh, spiders. Oh, crap again? Yeah. Yeah, all, all that was, I just didn't play with my mouse. That's it, period. So I'm just gonna say this, it's very, very simple, very easy fix, just play more with the champs you got ahead. You don't get players ahead just to say, hey, have fun. You get them ahead so they can play with you for the rest of the game. So when you do that, just try to make a play. Let's just say Samira had 10 kills, but she recalled. Well, then we don't make a play until Samira's back on the map because that was your job. Your job was to funnel gold to these players so that they could be useful. But you, you did that and he's not there. So then how is he going to help you? It's, yeah. it's kind of like you just wasted the, the gold then, you know? Like, this is not a bad play. I just wish he was there. That's it. You're doing the right thing. You're forcing it because they have to fight you. You're fed. He's fed, bro. If you guys try to fight us, you'll die, which is absolutely true. But he's just not there. The gold that you put, like the resources that you put into the guy, he's just not there. That's all that it is. Look at that dude. CS, 55 to 136. My God. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> all right. I mean, I would be very, very upset about that, period, just because my mouse wasn't there. But also, you know you you kind of made that happen yourself they should have yeah, pinged you was... back as well the, your bot lane should have been like no 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 mouse is not here but your elo doesn't understand that so they're not going to yeah i was like whatever we got the dragon yeah i was good wow it wasn't anything worth carrying it for. okay then he yeah. just got shut down you could say that what you just did domino affected him to this guy because now he's dead okay. now obviously you didn't tell him to do it but imagine we killed all of them and they weren't there because they were dead Mouse doesn't die there. That's not something you could control, but that's just the way you want to look at League because it's a big, big, big domino effect. So it's not really about what you're like, man, they're so they're so behind. Like my team's dying so much. It sucks, but you gotta think, how did they get to that point? I mean, yeah, that's why I think about like post game, like, hmm, nothing like hmm, how can I do to not make this Yone one nine? Okay, sometimes that's not gonna happen. I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh no, Yone and Yasuos are just I really, I, I just keep thinking like there's something I'm doing that probably could benefit them to not be so stereotype. Huge. Go Rift now. Ping your team to come with you. Okay, you want to do camps first. Oh wait, no you don't. You're gonna okay, kill him and then go Rift. Oh yeah. So he was just like getting like yeah, that was free. Four, right. I give it to you. Good. R recall? No, 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 no. You gotta recall because your bot lane is like getting pushed in. You're needed. Oh yeah, I think at this point I was like, okay, yeah. At this point right here, I was just tilted, kind of like, why are the three people? Are you just trying to base race with Rift? I would have just recalled. Oh, they actually held out. Wow, they didn't even die. You're so lucky. Yeah, I was. Yeah, that was the actual coin flip. Thing. Yeah, that was mad coin flip. I'm like, so shocked they lived. I was fully prepared for the coin flip here, but we didn't make it. Wow. Okay, so this is weird. But let's just say that after that rift, these three players just dove these two. They got inhib, and you traded inhib for inhib when all you had to do was press B. Would it have been their fault for getting dove, or would it have been your fault for just not recalling? Oh, no, it would definitely been my fault. You're sitting I on stats, too. Look, 1K. That's a lot of gold in your bank, man. Yeah, he definitely should have recalled here. Definitely should have recalled here, because that's a triple. The stuff like this that you can prevent allows it so that the technically... Let's just say this way, right? Let's just say... I don't know. We'll just use 30 minutes. That is late game. 30 minutes late game. It's really generic. That's not how it works, but I'm just going to say it. 30 minutes late game. 
it is 18 minutes. If you kill them, they stall out. So 30 minutes now becomes 35. If you prevent another player like that, 35 now becomes, what, 40? Does that make sense? Because you're stalling their progression. It's not about you falling off. It's about how are they catching up? Because once they catch up, that's when you technically fall off. It is not a number game in terms of the clock. You don't just magically get weak. It's because they're catching up. It's because they're getting to their items. But every single time you stall them, they're not getting gold. They're not getting experience. What are they going to buy? How are they going to catch up? Right? Hmm. Makes sense. But you got you to gotta, you gotta stem the bleeding. This wasn't even like your, your teammates weren't even bad. They were actually doing the correct play, which was just waiting and like not trying to die. So, yeah, although they're not playing to your standards, they're not like bad, bad. They're just like, they're, 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 they're the exceptional bad. You know, they're like, you guys suck, but you guys aren't worse than what I expect. I can work with you. Those are the players you want to carry. The ones that are bad, bad, like, Jesus can't even help them type bad, you're losing those games, period. But those are very rare. It feels like the exceptional bad and the, like, man, you're just, Jesus can't help you bad are the same. It's not. It's very rare. I could tell you that, too. Um... Because I told you I'm playing Lee Sin, and you know that champ's very team dependent. But oh, yeah. I do I do know that a lot of those players that are quote unquote bad are not bad to the point where we can't win. They're just like I'm tired of having bad players. That's true, but we can still win. It's just harder to win, unfortunately. So your Samir and your Sorak aren't bad, bad. They're just bad. They're bronze players. They're supposed to be that bad. You can't be mad at them because they're supposed to be that bad. That's okay. Like that's fine. Right? If you had a 10-year-old playing high school basketball and that guy sucked, I mean, he's 10. What do you expect? No, I'm still reporting. <laughs> I'm still reporting. Yeah, let me report a 10-year-old. Because... <laughs> okay, now that's just toxic. All right. We're going to have to recall eventually. You definitely got to recall more. Just get out. Okay, yeah. Yeah, right now, like, the only thing that's really holding you back, like, at this point, <laughs> is just oh, that God, recall. That's terrible. Like, how much gold do I have right now? Let me see. 2.5. Yeah, goblin. Okay, here's a simple, simple thing to keep you on track. I already said he, after every time you make a play, but I'm just going to put 1B. Um, before every objective, spin your gold and be ready. That's another way to keep yourself on track. Uh, yeah, I tried to keep to that rule. Like, I give myself... 40 seconds before adjusting. I don't even want to say 40, man. I want to, because 40 seconds could be a whole play. And then you're done with the play, but now you got to recall. And it takes eight seconds to recall. Do you know how long it takes for you to get back to Dragon? You can uh, throw out a guess. Like, from mid lane, to, I mean, to get to mid lane, probably around 18 seconds. Nope, it's about 25. So you're going to take about Wait, 25 oh, yeah, to get here. <laughs> and you, you have to get here. So, like, you'll be here by the time that happens. It's about like 25 to 30 seconds to get all the way oh, over snap, here. Man. Elise is a little different because she's faster when she's spider, but give or take. And then you got to factor in boots. Let's just say I don't have it. Well, you should have boots by first dragon, maybe. Um, so you're slower. Then you're slower. And then the when you get tier two, you're faster. So like, there's also that to factor in. So why don't we just get there on time? Because if we get there on time, let's say it's 30 seconds before dragon spawns, and you have cleared this, you cleared this, and you know you know for a fact that pike is coming and pike is down here how else is pike gonna ward he's gonna have to walk through here or here so that scan that scan you're sitting here waiting for pike to come he walks right in front of you bam one shot that drags yours no fight no contestion um. you don't want to fight team fights period high elo or low because nobody knows how to cooperate unless you're a pro or like unless you're like in a pro setting of five or a scrim of five or whatever if you could just pop someone, <laughs> they give it to you. If they try to fight you all day, you just kill them. So the same thing would be here, right? If I'm like, let's just say Soraka, and well, Pike is the same story too. If I'm going to go to Dragon, where am I coming from? Here. Why would I go this way? Why would I go that way? Somebody's walking through this portal, like through this area. Or they're going to just fly through here and drop here. Again, wait here, wait here, and just follow them. You'll be shocked how many people don't use portals. Nah, I've noticed a, a quite fair amount, and I'm in silver, so I can only imagine in bronze. People don't even use it in diamond. I, I don't know. I think they're just like all tabbed or something. Um, luckily, your team cleaned it up though. 
All right, we know the next objective is Baron, so try to ping Baron. It doesn't mean we want to do it, we just want to go over there. Why? Because some monkey is going to start fighting, and we, we after we kill him, that's Baron for free. We weren't even trying to fight. Maybe Soraka walked up, Pike seen her, Soraka was like, stop looking at me. Pike was like, I look how cute I've ever I want to look at you. And then she get mad, and Samira shows up, and then, you know, Trish shows up, and now we got a little scuffle. And then you show up, and then their whole team shows up, and we got a 5v5. We killed their team, we get Baron. It's not even a Baron fight. Our team's just griefing. But because I made them grief on the top side of the map, we get Baron for free. You, the best, if you could just put them in the right spot, the games are a lot easier. The thing is, put them in the right spot. <laughs> yeah, you, you don't want them. To, you don't want to try to think like, well, you do that. ADC, go over here. Support, go over there. Mouse, go. Like, no. Nah. If you could just put them in the vicinity of whatever you're trying to do, all they have to do is just press buttons. That's the way to win. I don't know why your ADC's bot side, but we can't do much about it. Now you could be thinking, well, why are you bot? Our teammates are fighting mid. What, like, this is stupid. You're right, it's dumb. Go top and start pushing. This is not a play you can impact. Your gold is dead. The only one you're left with is Gangplank. He's already running, she's running. I mean, does this look like they want to turn this fight or does this look like they are trying to get out? I have zero clue. Take a guess. Let's just, let's just play it back and we'll play it back normal speed. From right here. Well, maybe not right here, but from right there. What does it look like Soraki oh, okay. and Gangplank they're, they're are trying, trying to do? To right. I don't know how many people enemy slower. So we shouldn't even go to this play because we're not even trying to fight it. They're trying to get away. Yes, you can make something happen. Don't get me wrong. But you have to think as you're watching it, can I really make something happen? Because if you fly I in and die, then you're And I was like, I can probably get... Oh, yeah, it's dinner. Four... I didn't... Look where he is. I know those four people. Way over there. Three. You could pop There's that guy, though. But it's going to be scary. Oh, yeah. look, he didn't even want to fight that fight. The gangplank was out. He only went there because of you. Okay, yeah, that was my mistake then. He was like, oh, you're going? Okay, I'll go. Oh, yeah, because I saw four people. And then like, oh, you okay. just, like, sit there. And he still gets the kill, but you're still sitting there. You didn't do anything. But what happens if I'm this gangplank and I see my jungler right there? What is going through my head, you think? I think because... Uh... Warwick out here cut, cut him off, and I think he... Yeah, but if you're if you're this game plank right now, and we're like zoomed in, this, we're like trying to fight this fight, and your jungler is right there, and you're looking on the map right now, what does that look like to me? Like to you, I mean. Okay, that's what I'm saying. If I'm, if there's a work between me and, there's like a whole gap of people between, I'm like, oh, okay, never mind, cancel. Can't do anything. Right, right. You, you're right. You know, I'd say the same thing. I'd be like, dude, there's nothing I could do. But your Elise is sitting in that bush. What does that look like? Does it look like your Elise is trying to recall? Does it look like your Elise is running away? Or does it look like your Elise wants to try to help? Eh, I don't know. It looks like Elise trying to decide. I would think she's trying to help. Why? Because it's a team game. So I would just assume, because you're the most fed player on our team right now, well, you're one of the most fed, like... You got some something up your sleeve because you've been popping off this whole 22 minutes. I believe in you. And that's what happens a lot of the time. So as the person that's fed, as a person that actually understands the game, you have to already realize I can't help you. So that way they're not sucked into being like, you'll help me. Oh, okay. Go ahead and push. It's fine. If you go push, it's fine because you're just going to trade tower for tower. And I'd rather have this tower than that tower. You could try to just sit and defend, I guess, but... I mean, if they I'm just, not sure what I do here. if they all die, it's not really much you could do. Don't tell me you go top anyway. Okay, you go farm. Oh. <laughs> you literally do it 30 seconds later. <laughs> you actually had the right game plan, but you're sitting here trying to decide, can I do anything? No. Your Malzahar died, and there's two of them, and your ADC is bottom. It's not you. You understand what's happening. You understand the right play. Have you noticed you're just always late on what you need to do? That's all it is. True. Sure. Oh, I gotta go bot. I need to recall. I'm gonna recall later. Oh, we gotta get dragon. Oh, I'm gonna do dragon even though our mid laner is not there. I guess that's more of an early execution than late execution. Um, oh, I'm gonna get rift herald. Okay, wait. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. Okay, now I'm gonna get rift herald. Just do things faster. This was actually a really solid play. I wanted you to do this as soon as you seen that your millionaire got caught. I'm done. Nothing I can do. Y'all shouldn't have died. That was stupid. And then you go push. Because what happens is after they get that kill, they're going to probably go take the tower. And so you already know I can't hold this 1v4 if they oh. all did die. 
then why would you stay there? It makes no sense. <laughs> You're not going to hold 1v4 with a Malphite, a Warwick, a, I think a Pike was there too, and then Urgot was there. Like, you would die. So there's no reason. And now, because we took so long, Tristana was able to defend. We could have had that tower. And they didn't even get mid! Look at the- they didn't even get it! They killed your team like mongrels and then just walked around. Everything that we complain about but our teammates is the same thing over there. Every single time. It's just we never notice it because we're already annoyed at our teammates. But if you would have done the right play, which was get top real quick, you would have had a free tower. They killed your team. Who cares? I got a tower. You guys did it. And then you just move on about your business. You're not wrong for not wanting to fight that fight. You're absolutely right. That was a horrible fight for you to play. Um, you better not have so much gold. Okay, yeah, 500. All right, yeah, this is a good fight. You're ready. This is a fight you probably win. Yeah, I don't know what the fight was doing. The guy's smoking. Good job. Now we, we can call for a Baron? Yeah, I was going to say we could call for a Baron or we can go stop her. I think it looks like you're about to go stop oh, her, though. Nah, but not right now. This is good. You're covering the split push. You should be able to one bang her. Okay, you shouldn't be afraid. You, she doesn't kill you. Ever. Yeah. Ever. Good. I would like that you signal to your team what you were doing. Because now they're just like monkey in. Hey, Not I think Pink I Baron. I no. wanted someone to get the side lane. Oh, they still something? actually killed. But that's... And I don't know what happened after that. Pink Baron. Pink Baron. Oh, they're just gonna try to end. Yeah. Okay, that was dope. But let's go back to where we actually had our teammates with us before we like actually separated. So this was good. They actually end up dying. Boom, boom. Right now, you have their attention. Right now, all of them are like, Duh, what do I do now? Tell them what to do. Assist, assist, assist. Here, here, here. People don't listen to pings because they already have something in their mind. You literally just told me at the start of this, you were like, yeah, but I already have a play kind of in my, in my head already. And so that's why you didn't even do it. And it was your own play. It wasn't even like someone was getting you to do it. It was just a play that was better than what you did. You wanted to go for plates because that was just kind of ingrained in your head, but you actually could have done more. It's the same thing with your team. If Samira's like, ooh, a wave bottom, and she's like started to walk, you're not gonna get her to go to Baron. Cause she already put that she wanted that wave in her head so like you look she's she's like i don't know what to do they're just like walking around farming this has been the time to ping them because they're not even they're not sure but once they start marching down mid they done full-on committed here so it's gonna be rough to get them to baron but you did the right play stopping them if you would have just pinged your team then you guys would have had a free baron there not much you could do so you decided to go bottom oh you could have still ping baron i thought they were gonna die you could still ping Baron. I thought they were going to hit or something. I don't know. I think how I gave up on him. Oh, how often oh, do yeah. you call Baron or Baron? It's just uh, pretty, hmm, pretty. If I kill a jungler, like even if it's four other enemies up, I'll call for Baron, so we can at least out oh, no, no. What if you? What if it's just not like a? What if you didn't kill anybody? Do you just call to get your team over there? Like... Uh, yeah, sometimes just to like. They can be in the air because, or else it's just gonna be too dangerous. So we go. Oh, that was a good dodge. Oh, that sucks though. What even happened? This one, I was just like, actually, I don't know what happened here. I was just upset. A Soraka, and then uh, yeah, everybody's Sumo, over there. Like, I don't know, they're distracted. So this is one of those things where it's like you don't really have a team that's a good 5v5 front to backer because you don't have the frontliner. So you're going to have to play a little bit creatively by like yeah, getting picks Yeah, I just want them to like stuff. converge on them so I, I could do like anyone do anything and I'll get the one who straggled out. A really good way to a really good way to like get them to come out if they're like formate like if they're in a really good formation is to like push a lane or like go in the jungle or something because then they're going to start breaking formation and start splitting up because then you're going to have people doing this that trying to stop you maybe someone's going over there and then you just broke them out of their little 5v5 huddle that could beat your team so whenever you're in that situation where it's like man we don't really have a frontliner we can't really 5v5 do anything to break them this is good right now you broke them out of the formation with this team if you just hang with this guy it's good enough because then your team could do stuff Pike was there too, so you would have had two on you the entire time while your team was doing whatever this is. But you see how far you are. I would have let it go, and you only died because you went for the Pike there. 
but you could have let it go. Just bat, 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 bat. Yeah. Lost dragon, gangplank entered, bro. The, the fight's over. You guys suck. Get out of here. Bat, 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 bat. It's okay to just let a play go. Just because you're there, just yeah, because I you want to go. I think I did this just, just for the, like, experience of getting the kill. Well, let's just see. Because, look, this is the same situation that that gangplank was in that we talked about with you sitting in that bush. Look where my fed jungler is. Right here. Does this tell me, let's just say, I don't know. Let's just say I'm over here. And my jungler's over there. Look on the map. I am i don't know how to pan camera, so I'm just focused on the mini map. Does it look like you're trying to run away, or does it look like you kind of want to fight? Probably run away at that point. Not to me. Looks like you're still hanging around. Oh, for this one? Yeah. Yeah, see, you're still there. You're yeah, not telling yeah, I think I'm pinging them to go in. No, you didn't ping okay. anything, but... The thing That's is, smart. like, this is not a good fight. You knew it wasn't a good fight, though, because you started walking away. But then they're like... No, no, cause I'm trying to, like, zone or, like, back away so they can, like, do something. I'm like, then I'll go in. But the play is over, because Gangplank just entered. So, like, as much as you, you're not wrong, that guy just died, the play's gone. All because your teammate died. And so you just have to be like, oh, my God, dude, just stop dying! F it, back, 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 back. Because you can't make the play without him. But we were trying to make a play with the fact that he just got picked off. We can't. We, we lost the play. Now, see, if I knew that Miles used his ultimate, I would definitely cancel that play because that's what I was waiting on. Like, yeah. I was like, when I saw that, I was like, wait, Miles doesn't have to. Yeah, because now you're, you, they're going in because you're there. You're going back because they're there. Right, and everybody's just kind of going back into the fight because the other teammates there. It's got to take someone that's really strong will to be like back, 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 back. This fight's stupid. Back, 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 because everybody's gonna start sucking each other back into the fight. We know that our Samira sucks, and we know our Soraka sucks. Why on earth would we want to even try to do anything with those two players? Right? Yeah, they're really this bad. Was, I'll say this was definitely a lack of information, and then after that. Yeah, like, like, like I said, it's okay. It's okay that you have bad teammates. I totally agree. There's nothing you could do about that. But don't play with them. <laughs> right? I was, like, I was mostly playing with the, like... The Mazahar there? Oh, as a yeah. group. Because the Mazahar didn't have his R, and I was, that's when I was like... Oh. Yeah, I definitely would have backed it off without him having his ult, too. I did not know he, he used it on uh, her guy. Wow. So yeah, that, that's just too, the, the, when someone dies with a player try to set up, let it go, um, and then obviously check the ults, right? Before we look for a team fight, these are the things that we want to pay attention to. This is just kind of something that I always write down. It helps me keep track before I start running in, especially as a champ like Elise, Lee Sin, Vi, I see you played Vi, um, but Gwen's another one. Like These are champs that like want to get in, and once they're in, it's kind of hard to get out. So these are what we look for um, if a fight's good. So if, uh, do we have all three? So what we want is positioning. Um, resources, ultimates. If we have all of those, it's a green light. So if we go back and we've seen that that gangplank got picked, even before that, we could just go to the fight like right now. Positioning. Do you think that our team is in a good position right now? Right now. Mm, honestly, for what I'm doing, yeah. Yeah, boom. It's, I'm glad. I was hoping that you wouldn't say just agree with me and be like, "No, we're in a bad." You're absolutely right. This is not a bad position at all. Yeah, I was like, I was do, perfect. I was like, "Oh, this is about to be a good flank." I can't wait. Right? Do you have resources? Or do we have HP mm, and mana? I would say, yeah. Yeah, we're good. Do we have ults? I don't know anymore. Oh, well, they're <laughs> right there. They're right there. Gangplank doesn't have his, but Gangplank yeah. isn't a champ that needs to have it. It doesn't matter. You're a champ that doesn't technically need to have ult. Samiri just gets her ult randomly. Mouse needs his ult for team fights. He is not even a champ without that thing. Soraka kind of doesn't need it. So the only one that needs to have their ult in every single team fight is this guy. If he does not have ult, we cannot fight, period. Yeah, it doesn't even that matter. Was... And that's the same for their team, right? If we think about it, does Urgot need ult? Yes. This guy needs one. Does War? Yes. Does Mount? Yes. Does Tristana? No, not really. Pike? Yes. So then if we were on their team, we would have to have all these line up. If we don't have ults, then our champs are useless. And it's just a very easy way to help you win more team fights because some champions are very, very useless without their ultimates. So we continue this fight. I think you're still in a pretty good position. We're pulling them off. This is good. I still think it's good. Still a good position. But what are we lacking? Malzar. Right then and there, the game's play is kind of over. Because he yeah. doesn't have his ult. Also, this guy is like way over here for some random reason. Yeah, my my camera was uh 
blocked at that moment because I'm trying to dodge. And then Jake GP died, so positioning is gone, ultimate's gone, we just let it go. So this is that's how we would know to stop the play right here. So Yeah. That's just an easy way for me to keep track. I still use it because sometimes it's like, sometimes they're just in the perfect spot, right? Sometimes it's like, dude, this is so free. But at the same time, if your teammates can't help you, it's not as free as it would be. So you just kind of have to bite it and be like, damn, I guess we can't make that play because you guys are idiots, which is what you gotta do. All right, we're coming back at base. That was kind of rough, but the game isn't over yet. It's just gonna be a hard game. Um, same exact thing. We're just kind of pushing the way. Oh, wait, that guy's trolling. Yeah, I don't know what that was. That scared the mess out of me. I don't like what was going on. Ping them back to see um, if you're not going to. If you're not going to be with them, just ping them back. I didn't even know they were. I don't think I even knew they were down there. Well, even before this, let's just see. How, how, how much Actually, time do we have? So, like, right here. This would be enough to ping them back because they're overextended. A, a thing that I like to use is just whenever they're past this halfway point, ping them back because this is just overextending. Yeah. Especially because you're a lot of the gold. You're like one of the carries. So they shouldn't even be here without you. But they are. So try to bring them back. If they don't listen, just make your way. Just just start jetting. Take the portal. Be over there. Because something's about to go down in Funky Town. And in which case you'd be around. If they don't listen to you. At least you're near. Just in case. But you're not near. The fight takes place. And then all that happens. This is just one of those games, though, that your team fights is pretty bad. So I don't even think you're going to win this game from this point on, to be honest. But yeah, pretty much. we had a lot of snowball potential early that we just didn't take. Or or it was just a bad fight. And again, a lot of it just had to do with the resetting. You could be extremely strong if you just reset more. Extremely strong. Like, it's, it's not even a question. Yeah. So I think you actually did a really good job carrying this game. It just got to a point where you can't team fight, and it's not your fault. Your team comp is just horrible. You would have to look for picks. They have just a well-versed team fight over yours. So this has nothing to do with you being bad or good, your teammates sucking. It just got to that point where it's like, dang, we're team fighting, we don't win, period. So we have to try to win before that phase. And to do that, we gotta make sure we're resetting. We gotta make sure that we're getting objectives. We gotta make sure that we are pushing our lead. Okay, I'm gonna go invade and kill this guy then since I know I'm ahead and my mid laners there. You know, these are the things that we're watching out for. Otherwise, you're going to get to the point where you are 29 minutes deep, and no matter how good or bad your teammates are, you're going to take the L, because the team comp just sucks that bad. And this ELO has a lot of players picking horrible champions that don't even go well in a team comp, so you definitely don't want to get to that point. So I think the major things is just whenever you're, ha like, get ready for the objective, reset, and then just sit and wait for someone stupid to walk by. They will be, blast them real quick, because you're usually fed anyway. So you can usually one bang. One of the things I also think we should change is the build. I don't think we should go with um, hex tech uh, protobu. I think we should go with the harvester. That gives. Oh yeah, that's I was, the movement uh, speed that you get. Pretty much testing out the iron. I was watching a Chinese at least on him. Let me see how it, that feels. It, it might have been for a specific reason. It might have been. For I think a it was that like game. I think a lot of times. Really? It might, it, I, I'll just say that it could just be for their play style. But I yeah. think I think. Night Harvester is better because it allows you to get out a little bit easier. If you pop somebody, she's super fast, and she can either keep up with them if they flash, or she can run away. So that's really, really good. Also, you don't really need uh, Rylize as well because you don't need to slow. Your your job is to one bang them. It's not. Oh yeah, to, that like one I was them. following. Uh, the EU, uh, the top at least uh, Aguren in US. I was seeing how that felt too. Yeah, I, I definitely think that. You should just go with what works at the moment until you understand why they do it. I'm not saying you're stupid. I'm not saying you don't understand, but I'm just saying a lot of this stuff, some players are just weird. <laughs> some players are just really weird and they like to be weird. But um, I definitely think Night Harvester would be really, really good because it allows you to get in and get out. And then also with the, uh, instead of Rylize, you could go like Shadow Flame. Huge for yeah. high HP targets like this. Ergot, yeah, that's my record Warwick. Build. Yeah. Like pretty much a Harvester. And Shadow Flame if they have a shielder, and then uh, into whatever that item is called. Right. right and, and then also try to get a Zonius. If you, if you know that they're going to be focusing you in a fight, build Zonius ASAP. If they're not focusing you and you're getting away with it, then don't. But, I mean, Zonius would have been great here. Man. Yeah, this would have been a good Zonius game. Um, and Actually, then Magi's, I don't think you should also go Magi's. Um, just keep Dark Seal. I think Dark Seal is awesome, but I think you should just stick with Dark Seal until you're like close to full build and then go Magi's. 
instead of spinning it on Magi's because that could have, you're just delaying power spikes. If you hear 1200 away from what, let's just say Shadow Flame that you could have used for a dragon fight, but we put it into an item that we're not really getting the stats out of it, you're actually a lot weaker than you would have been. So just keep the Dark Seal and then wait to upgrade it later. I do the same thing with Udir and a couple of other uh, Dark Seal champs. Uh, Azir's another one. I don't max it until I know that we're set because right now you could have used that gold for something else. But I think your gameplay like already is fine. Just play your 80-20. Um, just play, let's just put homework here. So homework here, just uh, definitely recall a lot more. That's just gotta be done. Um, <laughs> yeah. That stems in the number two as well, which is, you know, after you're done with the enemy, you do something if you can. But I think that could kind of sit in the backseat because you already do something. It's not like you don't do anything. It's just if you have a chance to do more, do more. But at least you're doing something. So I let yeah. that sit right now. It's just, I, I got to be more conscious of what happened and who that happened to. Exactly. Boom. Perfect. 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 Um, I want to say just kind of make sure you have all three all three of those things at the top because you're just going to put yourself in really really bad fights if you don't have all those even if it's a 2v2 a 3v3 a 4v4 it doesn't matter do we have all of those because sometimes your champs are just useless without that ultimate so they need to have that ultimate if you're going for an invade and Mazahar has no ultimate if he tries to help he's going to be useless doesn't it doesn't mean he sucks that champ just is garbage without his ult so you have to think about that before you go for that play um and then just make play with more with champions that are ahead. You're doing your job of giving them a lead. Play with those guys. You did it. You, you did it. You did exactly what a jungler is supposed to do. But you got to play with them now. You can't just let them run around. Keep playing with them because that's going to be the person that's going to carry your game. Junglers like to give people leads that can carry the game. So keep playing with that person because you're not going to be the player to carry the game anymore after the initial 15 minutes. Um, but yeah, no, I, th I think that was a pretty good game to watch. You were actually right about that. At this point, again, the game just got to the point where you can't team fight. That's not on you. It's just it got too late. So don't even care about this part. There's no way you win this part. Don't think about it. Don't think like, you know, if I would have played this part better, we would have won. No, <laughs> this part is hard. So continue to look for picks and prevent those fights. All right. And as I always say, if you guys are interested in coaching, coachblaker.com is where you want to go. Thank you guys for watching. Peace, peace, peace. Have a good rest of your day or night. I think you guys are doing what? Approaching this I like a coach.